Hey everybody, today we're making beef and broccoli. Which is actually really good. True story. Come with us and we'll show you how we make it. What's up guys? It's GD cooking time. I'm G. And I'm D. And today we're gonna make beef and broccoli. Now beef and broccoli this is the first broccoli dish that I was ever actually able to get the kids to eat. And Gavin here used to actually request it. I said, what are you want for dinner today? He'd be like, mm, maybe beef and broth. Broth, broth, right? Beef and broth. It's the, the secret to our beef and broccoli. You can't really distinguish the broccoli from the beef. So they just take a bite, not knowing which is which, so they can't just eat around the broccoli. Yeah. Right? And it helps. Makes and, it easier. And beef and broccoli is exactly what it sounds like. It's in its name. <laughs> Essentially, we, there's there's a few other things. Well, but yeah. so we got our we chopped our onions up. About three onions is what you need, and we're gonna use our slow cooker here, our crock pot. And so this really only takes like five minutes to prepare at the longest. You could really do it longer, but when you're in a hurry and you're leaving the house in the morning, throw this in the crock pot when you get home and be ready to rock and roll. Right? Yeah. Well, okay. like at the end of the day when you get home. Yeah. They knew what I meant. You knew what I meant, didn't you? Maybe. All right. So. Comment below if you knew. <laughs> That's good. He's good. He's a professional here. Okay. So we have a little bit of water in here in the crock pot. Hey, Gavin, you want to go ahead and throw our onions in the crock pot? And so our, we're gonna season this up in the water because it's that way we can make sure that it, the seasoning gets a little more spread out. So we got cinnamon and allspice, a little cumin. Allspice has every spice in it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> garlic powder, you could use fresh garlic instead of the garlic powder, but a little short on time. Black pepper. All right, you wanna start sprinkling that in, Gav? Sure. About a, about a tablespoon, I guess. Uh, or garlic, baroom. I think that's good enough, probably. I think that's good, about maybe half a tablespoon of all, allspice. Mm -hmm. Some cumin. Now, this is the secret give you a cool, man. smoky flavor. It's going to balance the sweet of the cinnamon and the, what that other thing? The allspice. Did I put pepper in there yet, Gavin? Uh, no. Wait, hold on. I can see. Um, no, you did it. <laughs> all right, bang, bang, bang. There's the black pepper. Pepper has a distinct, um, uh, like color? Yeah. Uh, you want to grab a the spatula and stir that up for us, Gabe? Which one? This Doesn't one. Matter. Just you don't want to use metal because we don't want to scratch up our crock pot. Got. Okay. Now, hmm. if you're short on time, I just use frozen broccoli from Costco. And if you're not short on time, what I like to do is cut off the stems, because if you notice that little beef, that little broccoli will look, look awful lot like beef once it's done cooking. But if you're short on time like we are today, then just take the whole bag, whoops, <laughs> and don't leave the plastic out. <laughs> but gonna throw it in there and bada boom. So we got three onions, a couple bags of broccoli. Which the broccoli doesn't look as big as it actually is. Yeah, it will shrink down and then as it cooks, before you serve it, you want to chop it up real good so they can't see and distinguish the broccoli florets from the beef. Right, buddy boy? Uh-huh. And then, so here is the two secrets to getting your kids to actually eat this. The coconut amino, aminos, which is a nice soy-free alternative to soy sauce. Ooh, I was about to ask, what is that? <laughs> and then here's the real secret, molasses. Molasses is gonna do two things. It's gonna sweeten it up a little bit, give it kind of a licorice -y kind of taste. And it's gonna kind of change the color. Exactly. It's gonna change that, change the whole dish to it so it's more So brown. you see how this is green, whoa. And the beef is like a brownish once it's cooked. Yep. It will change it to it. So it's all gonna, we're gonna lose that beautiful green, but who cares what a, how pretty it is if nobody eats it. Well, it actually looks kind of cool right now. Right, Gav? Yeah, right now it looks cool with the black so, and white and green. Uh-oh, down went the pepper. And then, am I forgetting yeah. anything? If you really want to, you want to kick it up and you're not, not really caring about the sugar, you can add a little bit of a 
maple syrup because who doesn't like maple syrup and it goes great with the cinnamon and balances with the beef and the smoke did i put i didn't put smoked paprika in there did i no we need smoked paprika well i'll find the smoked paprika later before we throw it into the crock pot well it's in the crock pot <laughs> Before we put, well, before we put it in the actual crock pot. You just got the pot part, you don't have the cooking right. part. I have the pot, not the crock. There you go. So, you're gonna add the maple syrup. What I would do, and what I'm gonna do when this is done cooking, is I'm gonna taste it and see how broccoli-y it still tastes. And if it needs an extra tablespoon of maple syrup, then I'll throw it in there. It's broccoli Right, you don't have to chop it up now because it's still frozen. Ah. See all that work he was doing? Don't worry about that. Let it cook, gotta get all soft, and then you just, Chop it up with your spatula, but not that hard because you don't want to crack your pot. Yeah. Right? Chop it up, a little push, push, push. And are we forgetting anything? Uh, I don't know. We're forgetting a nice two, uh, butter. We're getting butter. Oh. And if you're dairy free, <clears throat> you should use beef tallow, which is fat from a, from a cow. So find a local farmer or you can use an Epic brand or something that's grass fed. And actually, I like the way the tallow tastes more than the butter. But I haven't found a good source of tallow yet, so we're using butter instead for now. I love butter. Right? Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, you know, butter, butter. Butter makes everything better. So. Butter, butter. And be, be, the tallow butter, makes butter. it really good. So maybe we should look look harder for uh, tea. a source of tallow. Don't you tallow tastic. T T. Tallow tastic. And like then B B like is that. better with butter. <laughs> okay. Oh, we forgot the beef. <laughs> so you want to throw in the beef? And uh, this is just ground beef from our local farmer. I think most people will use, here you want to do some of the half of that for us? <laughs> most people will use like a stew meat or you could even do like a, oh shit, here, go ahead, throw it right in there. Oh, yeah. I was just giving that for you. Poof, um, poof, poof. Whoop, did you see that? <laughs> that was almost bad. I completely missed the pot, you That's a slippery little devil. I could have landed on the camera, that would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hey, don't play with your food. Oh, dude, I totally missed. <laughs> what? You keep missing, and you're funny. I am. I'm having an off night here, folks. Ready? He shoots. He scores. Yeah. So, what else was I saying? Oh, so some most people just use stew meat, or you can use like a roast, or something like that, or shredded beef would be fantastic. But we use ground beef because it's cheap is way cheaper than a you know big hunk of roast although roast will probably be taste better so but this is beef and brock on a budget son <laughs> right yep okay so then after that we'll give it a just quick stir and then we're going to throw it in the crock pot and you could get away with it for about four hours on high but we're going to turn it on low assuming that you're going to make this before you go to work in the morning and when you get home it's going to be ready to rock and roll Poof. Yeah. <laughs> and I just missed another shot. You're normally amazing at basketball uh, well, and shooting this, and... This beef is sticky, so, you know. Look, I can make it. It's sticky. Uh-oh. Dude! Uh <laughs> oh, boy. And I think you went for the wrong basket there, buddy. <laughs> this big black basket right here, that's what we're shooting in. Yeah, maybe we get a little closer. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw this in the crock pot and then we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like later. Cool beans. <laughs> the rock and roll? Yep, yep. Well, now we have the finished product of the beef and brock. Yep, so the beef and broccoli's been slow cooking all day and now we're gonna show you what it looks like and give it a little tasting and um, see if we need to tweak it at all. Wow. Uh, we probably need to add more molasses. We need to add more molasses? I mean, normally, the broccoli's brown. Now it's green. Okay, so here's what we're doing here, guys. So you can still see the green, but if you check out the broccoli, it's softened up real nice. I think Gavin's right. We add a little bit more molasses, and that will darken it up a little bit more. And then make sure there's no whole broccoli in there. So just a little chop, chop, choppity chop. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a little bit more mushy than I would like it to be. But we had it on high instead of low, and that was my bad. But cook to your uh, cook to your kids' textures preferences. If they like more al dente or more mush, cook it to the way they'll eat it. Right? Mm -hmm. Have so all just, molasses. Just a little bit. We didn't put that much in to begin with. But 
because yeah. it darkened it up a little bit. So that way it comes a nice light brownish. So yeah, you can see the color change darker. up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, you can't pick out, distinguish the broccoli in that. That's the key to getting these kids to eat it. Right, Cam? I mean, look at that. You can't even tell what's broccoli. I mean, you kind of can, but... If you study it. Still. Which, you know, some kids do. But, all right, Cam, let's give it a taste. And what do you think? You think he's going to eat this? Huh. And I personally like to add hot sauce to mine. And so does Ethan, his big brother. They're crazy. And it's good. Anything else? Uh, well, I want to add syrup just because... <laughs> Just because you See, know. He never knew that I did that, so now he wants to add syrup just because he knows, he now knows the secret. Exactly. So, since he knows the secret, I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Wait, how long have you been doing that with that and that? Mm, I don't do it every time. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it depends on what, how finicky and how cranky you guys are and how much I'll have to coax you into eating it. Okay, so every time I know, um,. Um, oh, you see when this? we're gonna have He's gonna get crabby. Oh, you're very cranky. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, throw some in there. Uh, Be very careful, there's a lot of sugar in there. Okay, let's put the whole bottle in. Whoa, 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 that's enough! I didn't even put any <laughs> in! Yeah, one more splash. Okay. I said one more splash, not one more gulp! What are you doing? <laughs> I tried, I tried, okay? I'm such a disease. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you serve it, I also, we don't have any, but I love to actually top it off with some sunflower seeds. Uh. That gives you a nice little extra crunch, especially when you overcook the broccoli like I, we just did. All right, want to give it another whirl here? Now, this time with syrup. It is a lot better. Uh -huh. Like a lot better. Uh huh. I might have to do that all the time. That's a lot better. So just a tablespoon or two of maple syrup. Bellissimo. Is that right? Is that I said that right? Bellissimo. I'm right. It's Italian. I think that means really good or something. <laughs> I don't know. If you're Italian, comment what bellissimo means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the family's gonna be here in a couple minutes. So we're gonna dish this out, and then we're gonna serve them. We'll see what they think. That is really good with the maple syrup. It or, took it from pretty good to like really good. Yeah, or if you don't want to put syrup in, maybe you could put in honey, maybe. I don't know. You know, I think it's the maple syrupy flavor. It's not just the sugar really? from the maple. Like it's the maple syrup flavor. It's oh. different than just like sweetening, sweetening, sweetening it up. <laughs> right? Sweetening right, so it up. Let's serve this up and get it ready for your brother and mom and sister. Yeah. What do you think, babe? It's better than normal. Yeah. <laughs> What's in it? Oh, well, secret. <laughs> Good job, guys. See? He wants hot sauce, didn't I say? Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this episode of It's G, but most importantly, D, cooking time. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, 2018 is the year of the vegetables. That's right. So subscribe to the channel. We got awesome recipes coming for the entire year. All right. And if you would like the recipe, go ahead and click on the link below and you'll get the recipe. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. All right. Anything else we need to say? Uh, I have a broccoli face. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Be well. Adios, amigos.